At the time of recording, we're 10 games into the Premier League season and every team has struggled in certain areas and the January transfer window is just two months away. I'm going to take a look at every single Premier League team and see where they need to upgrade on in January. Now this is a new kind of thing I'm doing on the channel so if you do like it just let me know in the comments and if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing. Starting off with Arsenal, now it has been a relatively surprising season for Arsenal. At the start of the season it looked like it was going to be terrible, it looked like Mikel Arteta will be sacked within two months but they have turned it around. Like of Aaron Ramsdale to have exceeded expectations and someone who hasn't really led up to expectations is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Lacazette. Now they have scored a few goals but just not enough. Now Aubameyang's form is picking up so I think Arsenal should bring in a young striker who could learn from Aubameyang and Lacazette and then take over as the main man at Arsenal in a couple of seasons and that man I think personally should be Adeyemi. The German has been in fine form for Orbi Salzburg scoring 10 goals in 12 matches in the Austrian Bundesliga and getting 4 Champions League goals. Reports have it that Orbi Salzburg would sell him for up to 20 million. I think it'd be a fantastic signing. He is still young. He could develop under the likes of Aubameyang and Lacazette and become a fantastic striker. I had big hopes going into the season with Aston Villa. They'd obviously lost Jack Rilish, but they've brought in Danny Yings, Leon Bailey and even Buendia. They look like fantastic signings, but Dean Smith has really just messed up. It's looking like he's going to lose his job. He's playing three at the back. It's just not working, but if he keeps his job, I think the man that they should sign is a centre-back that's used to playing three at the back, and that is Connor Cody. Connor Cody is a solid centre-back. He's used to playing three at the back. He has proved himself in the Premier League. He's a good aerial player and he's obviously got himself in the England setup. Now, Cody is the Wolves' captain, but if the right offer were to come in, I think he would be opening to join Aston Villa. From what I've watched at Brentford, I genuinely go as far as saying that they don't really need to upgrade in any position in the January transfer window. They've been fantastic so far this season, surprising almost everyone. That Brentford team has been fantastic and if they can keep their form up and they don't get any major injuries, they don't really need to make any major upgrades in the January transfer window. Brighton have had quite an underrated start to the Premier League season, recently picking up a point at Anfield. Now, the only real problem is Neil Mope has slowed down with the goals, and I think that's going to be a problem, and the man they should get a quick fix is Kramerich. He is 30, but he is still good enough to score goals, and I think he'd be relatively cheap, seen as his age, and Brighton could get him for around 20 million. He could be the man to get Brighton challenging for European football. The player I think Burnley should get is not your typical Burnley player, but then again, neither was Maxwell Cornet, and he's been absolutely fantastic for them. Burnley need to add a bit of creativity in midfield and I think they should go out and get Ross Barkley on a short term loan. Last season he was out on loan at Aston Villa and he wasn't great but I think he'll be trying his best to try get in that England World Cup squad. For Chelsea I think the best possible thing Thomas Tuchel could do for the club is get Antonio Rudiger and Andres Christensen new contracts. Both contracts run out at the end of the season it'd be fantastic to get new deals but who would they get if they couldn't get the two centre backs to sign new deals? I think the most likely man for the job is Jules Koundé. He was heavily linked with Chelsea over the summer transfer window but I think Chelsea he could make another move for him. Kunde would cost around 50 to 60 million but he is a top centre back and he is still young. He has about 10 years of football left in him and I think it could just be a fantastic signing for Chelsea. Crystal Palace have surprised almost everyone this season. They've played fantastic and one of their players who has been amazing is Conor Gallagher but I think he needs a new partner in midfield. Gallagher is on loan from Chelsea and another midfielder from Chelsea that should be loaned in is Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Now he was a Crystal Palace before and I think he should make the move back again on loan. Everton, James Tarkovsky. He's a solid centre back. Everton have let in two many goals this season. He cost around 20 million quid and I would say it'd be a fantastic signing for Everton. Leeds Raul de Thomas. He's gotten six goals and 11 the league appearances. He's been solid when I've seen him play and Patrick Bamford just hasn't been getting the goals for Leeds this season. I think he'd be a solid signing. Lester Jeremy Doku. Now he has been heavy linked with Liverpool over the last year but I think he would be a good signing for Leicester. He cost about 40 million but he is 19. He's a really promising right winger. He was fantastic for Belgium during the Euros. I think he'd be a great signing and let's be honest I always say Perez isn't good enough. With Liverpool, Salah and Mane are going to be gone with the AFCON, so they're going to need a new forward, and someone that would suit their style of play is Leeds' Rafinha. Now, he costs around £40 million, but I think he's a good signing for now and the future. His agent has come out and said that Liverpool have made contact, and for the future, I think he could replace Sadio Mane. Manchester City need a striker, and I think someone that would just be there for maybe a year or two would be Maro Icardi. Now, I think he'd be a good signing to really push Man City for the Premier League as long as he doesn't steal any of the players' wives. Apparently, he's unhappy with his playing time in PS and he cost around 30 to 40 million I think it'd be a solid signing. Man City would take almost any striker and I think Man United would take almost any defensive midfielder. Now I think the best possible signing would be Declan Rice. West Ham are asking for a lot of money so maybe it's not the most likely thing but I think if Man United were to throw a couple of players in the deal they could get the deal done in January. Newcastle the richest club in the world so this was really hard to pick because to be honest they could really sign anyone but I'm going to go with Felipe Coutinho. It looks like Barcelona opened to selling him. His career has really ended and I think it'd be a solid
Palace signing for Newcastle. Genuinely didn't have a clue with Norwich because let's be honest, no one's saving Norwich at this point. They're going down. I think Southampton should go out and get Sam Johnson. He was fantastic in the Premier League last season with West Brom. He's an England goalkeeper. He deserves to be playing Premier League football. They could sign him for about 20 million quid and I think it'd be an absolutely fantastic signing. It looks like Antonio Conte will be the new Tottenham manager and he has demanded Spurs make signings in January and I think one of the most likely ones will be his former player, Skriniar. He's a top centre-back. He costs about 50 million but he is still young. He has about five years left in him. Obviously, fits Antonio Conte's style of play and I think he'd be a fantastic signing. Watford Nat Phillips. I think they could get him on loan for the rest of the season. He's a good centre-back. He showed that last season with Liverpool and I think he'd be the man to keep Watford up. West Ham Ollie Watkins. Despite Michael Antonio's fantastic form, I do think it will dip and I think Watkins would be a fantastic signing. He's seen his playtime reduced, seen as the signing of Danny Ings and it'd be a great signing for West Ham. Wolves James were prowse Now, Jao Matinho has slowed down in the last couple of years and if the Wolves project truly is still alive, they should go out and make a big signing like James ward prowse to really push for European football. That was my list of players every Premier League club should sign in the January transfer window. Do let me know in the comments what have I got wrong and let me know in the comments if you like this style of video.